Hi, it's John Terry with Vision Advisors and welcome to another Selling Secrets of the Top 5%. This is Selling Secret number 30, how the top 5% balance their work and their home life to live the life of their dreams. You know, we talk often about autonomy of business in the coaching world. And when I bring that topic up to those in the financial services industry, oftentimes I find it's a foreign topic they haven't really given a lot of thought to. But autonomy in business is really living life on your terms and utilizing your business, what you're passionate about and what brings the monetary benefits to life so that you can enjoy all the things you've dreamed of enjoying autonomy in business is how you make that happen. By definition, autonomy of business is the ability to do business as you choose, when and where you choose, and to be paid well for your knowledge and your expertise so you can serve your clients well and live the life that you want. It's really around designing a business that allows you to design the type of life that you want to live and creating a revenue generating machine that makes that possible by serving your customers well. Unfortunately, for far too many in the financial services industry, this is not a reality. What do we see? We see a number of people in the financial services industry working 60, 70, 80 hours a week, either unproductively or underproductively because they're workaholics that are constantly working on their business, chasing and hustling the next deal rather than building a business that has true sustainability. They have few, if any, systems or processes in place that allow them to leverage their skill set, to work when they're sleeping, and to utilize technology and to utilize people to have an opportunity to build a team, either technologically based or people based or both, to be able to grow and scale their business at a level they can't do as a solopreneur. Oftentimes we see in a shotgun approach to marketing that a little bit of marketing here and a little bit of marketing there and a little bit of marketing everywhere, trying to be all things to all people or is simply trying to make a sale to someone with something rather than having a systemized approach to get in front of the right prospect at the right time with the right message that moves them to take action and allows them to serve that client based upon what they are best at doing. Oftentimes we see marketing that's stop and start. They'll start a little bit of marketing. They'll make a little bit of money. They'll go spend that money rather than reinvest that back in their business. And it's constantly stopping and starting and never continually bringing new prospects and new opportunities into their sales funnel. Dan Kennedy, who is the godfather of direct response marketing, says that unless you have a readily duplicatable system that gets you in front of a high number of quality prospects, customers, and clients, you really don't have a business in place because your primary business is marketing who you are and what you do. Another big problem we see and something that the bottom 95% of mediocre, average, and lackluster financial professionals struggle with is a lack of delegation. Why? Oftentimes because they will not invest in the staff that will give them the opportunity to hand things off that others could do as well or better than they do. But due to their unwillingness to delegate or their unwillingness to invest in staff, they limit their potential. And of course, one of the big things that I've touched on it already is either not investing or reinvesting back into your business. You know, if you think of your business as a person, what happens if you don't feed yourself? What happens if you go a week and you don't eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner? At the end of the week, you're tired, you're lethargic, you have no energy, you are underproductive at best, if not completely unproductive, because you have no energy to move forward. The same is true with your business. If you are not constantly taking a portion of the money that you're earning and investing and reinvesting back into your business, you are not feeding and growing your business so that it has the energy and efforts to sustain you so that you can live the life that you truly want by serving the customers who want and need and can benefit from your knowledge and your expertise. Now, one of the things the top 5% understand that the bottom 95% fail to get is the fact that when we think about building a business that allows you to live life on your terms and to be able to balance your work life and your home life, 
It has to start with your thinking. One of my personal mentors and coaches is Christian Simpson. And there's a statement he beats me up with all the time. And he shared it with me so much. It's ingrained in my own thinking. And it's part of my process of becoming a better version of me every day. And this is his statement. Your business and the quality of life it affords you and your family will never outperform the quality of thinking that you bring to it. Therefore, develop the owner and not the business. Now, when you think about that statement, what Christian is saying is as you develop yourself, you begin to see opportunities in front of you that may have always been there, but because you didn't see them and you haven't grown yourself and your ability and believing in yourself to seize those opportunities, you always thought they were beyond your reach. But to build the business of your dreams, the top 5% understand, and they spend the first part of their day stretching and growing their thinking because as you think, you become. And in the words of the immortal Napoleon Hill, if you think properly, you can grow rich. And as you apply success principles to your business, you can balance your work life and your home life and really create that sustainable business that allows you to live out the life of your dreams. So when you think about that, what are we really looking at? And what questions do you need to answer? Who do you wanna serve? What are the problems that you can help people solve that allow you to lend your experience and your knowledge to give them a better outcome? How much do you want to make serving this unique demographic? And what's going to be required of you to make that happen? Now, as you think about those things in your business, that's the essentials of really creating the framework of how you build a business around the life that you want to live. Because as you identify who the customer is you serve best and the problems you can help them uniquely solve, you now position yourselves as a go-to expert that people are gonna seek out for your knowledge and expertise. Now you can determine how much you wanna make serving this demographic by the resources and solutions you can bring to them and the number of clients that you can serve and understanding what is necessary from in marketing, from a sales perspective and also from a delivery perspective and a fulfillment perspective to make sure that you're serving your customers. You're moving them down the funnel from being a prospect to a client. You're nurturing that relationship to continue to take that client deeper in their financial journey with you and ultimately training them to introduce other people just like them to your business so you can serve the lookalike customers of theirs that are within their inner circle. Now the top 5% understand there's some key autonomy questions that they have answered and you have to answer if you want to build the business of your dreams to live the life you've always wanted to live. How many days a week are you willing to work to accomplish building a business that supports the lifestyle that you want? What's going to be required of that? What are the non-negotiables when it comes to time with your family that you are not willing to give up to build the life of your dreams? That has got to be considered as you're building out your business. Because if you focus 100% of your time and energy and effort on your family, you're not going to build a business. But by the same token, if you focus 100% of your time, energy, and efforts on your business, you may build a successful business but lose your family in the process. So ultimately, the, the question you've got to answer is this. How can you best use your time, your energy, and your resources to accomplish the goals of building a business that supports you and your family in the lifestyle that you desire by being diligent and managing effectively the time that is allotted to you each and every day? So my question at the end of the day to you is this. What's your plan to make that happen? The top 5% have done three things that they have put in place to make sure that they have been able to create a business model that allows them to live life on their terms. Number one, they've given thought to the strategy, what it is they want to do, how they uniquely do it, the type of customer they want to serve, how they're going to reach them, and how they're going to serve them. Once they understand the strategy, they then build the tactics around that, the to-dos and creating the systems and the processes that allows the strategy to be implemented and run and scaled to see success. And then thirdly, they build the metrics 
the measurements, the accountability measures to make sure that the strategy is being achieved and the tactics that are being used in the business are driving the results that ultimately grow the business so you and your family can live the life you've always dreamed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we know that the top 5% have discovered that this works and they live the life of their dreams. They make money and they live life on their terms. Now, here's what we also know. The secret to doing that is not a secret. It's working smart within your business, working smart on your business, but more importantly, working smart in developing yourself. Truett Cathy, who built the Chick-fil-A empire, made it known early on that they were not in the business of building and making great chicken sandwiches and building and making great restaurants. Truett Cathy understood early on that his business was in the process of developing himself and developing his people. And he focused his energy and effort there. And that's how his business grew over 50 years of year after year growth. Why? Because Truett Cathy understood as you think you become. And as you think you establish the habits that are either going to make you extremely successful so you can live the life of your dreams, or you're going to establish habits that are going to allow you to struggle and get by for the rest of your life. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me remind you that you can make money and you can live the life of your dreams if you're willing to think for yourself, to stretch your thinking, and to work not only in your business, but to work on your business. Now, if you need some help with that, we can help you get there. That's part of what we do. We are an IMO that's not focused on products because every IMO has got great product and we're no exception. What makes us unique and different is we are focused on helping understand who you are, understanding your passion for what it is you want you do and help you to turn that into a profitable business that allows you to live the life you've always wanted to live. If you're teachable, trainable, and coachable, and this is something you want for yourself, let's have a conversation. You can reach us at 1-800-505-8489. Press zero at the voice prompt and you'll be immediately connected with one of our consultants who would be happy to have a conversation about how we can help you learn to balance home life, work life, and really build a business that serves your clients well, that pays you an attractive income so that you can live the life you and your family have always dreamed of. Now, you can also go and visit our website, visionadvisorsinc.com. Scroll to the bottom of the homepage and you can schedule time on the calendar of one of our consultants to have that same conversation, identifying a convenient time that works for you and works for them. But let me encourage you, don't delay because every day you delay is another day you're not working in your business and on your business and working on yourself to create a better outcome. So give us a call, 1-800-505-8489. And let's have a conversation about how we help you move forward with vision. I'm John Terry with Vision Advisors, and I want to say thanks for joining us for this Selling Secrets of the Top 5%. We look forward to having a conversation with you soon, and I hope you have a great day.